Hey y'all, it's X, and today I'm back with a different kind of video than I usually do. So as you guys know, I've been doing rebuilds for the past couple of weeks, and I've been using Bengals draft class, right? Now all credit to him, he obviously puts a lot of work into these, and I'm not like trying to, you know, diss him or nothing, but like I did disagree with quite a couple of the ratings and development traits that he gave out. So I decided to kind of like alter his class and kind of make it into my own. I also uh, edited some of the prospects added some that should be in here like Jonathan Brooks from Texas is like the most recent one that I added he's like my current running back two in the class but we'll go over that more so I also took out some players like Emeka Ibuka who are deciding to stay at school for another year so I'm just gonna show you guys how to download it first so I already have it imported obviously because I made the class but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here you're gonna download from Madden Share uh, for me it's gonna be import but you guys are gonna go to Madden Share and then all right come on Madden always wants to take forever here's this is the draft class I use which is uh, Bengals draft class actually it's not this one it's one of the ones that's a little bit less downloaded but it's more recent because this one is from oh this one's from 1016 there's another one from December so what you could do is you could either search for my gamer tag or you could just search for the keyword which would be 2024 by it's actually in all caps okay by x that's all you have to search and it should come up yep this is mine you can also search for my gamer tag i unknown ttv from last updated or when i added it which was january 20th uh nothing yet but it's called 2024 by x you can look for my gamer tag y'all can figure it out Right, so I'm not going to download it because I already have it, but you'll just hit download file, view gamer card if you want to stalk me, but sure. But once you have the draft class, let's just take a look at it, right? So I'm not going to go too in depth on each of the prospects, but what you got to know is Caleb Williams, Drake May, QB's 1A, 1B, Jaden Daniels is the only other quarterback that you should take in the first round. Uh, I'm not going to spoil too much, but. I'm not super high on guys like Michael Penix, JJ McCarthy, Bo Nix. It's me personally. A lot of these ratings, I will give a heads up, are the same. Oh, did I not add? Oh, I might have to edit it again because he's going to be down here. Okay. Jonathan Brooks is in the class, but he. I have to edit the order again. I don't know why it does this. It doesn't save. Madden's terrible with making draft classes, but Jonathan Brooks is in the class. He would be a round one to two talent. Um, but yeah, one of the other like issues with the class, and it's not something that's in my control is like the faces and all that stuff just reverts and it's like a generic face and all that stuff. You can go in and edit it. And the way you have to fix it is you can change the player's position, save it, and then go in and change it back to the original one. And you should be able to make all the edits, give them the correct height, weight, uh, and then the correct accessories too. So I didn't really take too much time with that. The faces are just as what Bengal had them and then the players I added I obviously changed. So yeah. So going by position, like I said, quarterbacks, this is what it looks like. Uh running backs. Uh I'm I like this for now. I might lower like somebody like Will Shipley and probably raise someone like Audrey Gastame. Um Cody Schrader I like a lot. Although I don't know if he's coming out, so we'll see with him. Ray Davis out of Kentucky, I, I like a lot. Bucky Irving, I probably need to make higher than this as well. Um, like I said, uh, Jonathan Brooks will be probably the second ranked running back in this class after all said and done. For receivers, I'm still trying to fix an issue with Malik Neighbors like not going in the top 10. He always falls to pick 20 for the Buccaneers. I don't know why that is. He's a top 5 player in the class. He is tied for second highest overall in the class. Uh, spoilers, Marvin Harrison Jr. is the best player in the class. Um, and you won't be surprised with who's behind him. This is what the receivers look like. All of these guys are first round worthy receivers. Uh, excluding Tez Walker. But all of these guys are all first round worthy. Like, I love this receiver draft class. Um, I am going to lower Keon Coleman a little bit. Because he's a little bit high of an overall right now. Again, this is a work in progress. This is not a finished product. And I'll get to it more in the offseason. When we know who's declaring, who's not. All that stuff. 
uh, when the combine happens, when people test, I'll change your attributes, but yeah. Uh, Brock Bowers is obviously the only first round tight end in here. Jatavian Sanders is also good, but eh, Jatavian Sanders is actually pretty good in this class. Uh, Cade Stover, the, everybody else is kind of like maybe a tight end too. Uh, for tackles, this is what I have it looking like. I think this is just what Bengal had it as. I don't think I changed anything here. Um, yeah, I think I might have changed the development trait for Kingsley Suomatea. I'm not going to say what it is, but that might be different. Uh, for interiors, this is what it looks like. JPJ I like a lot. I added Bo Limmer to this class. He wasn't in here before. He's a really good interior player. For right guards or more interior players, not much here. I'm going to raise Zach Zinters overall, though, because I do feel bad for him, like with the whole season-ending injury thing. Cooper Beebe is going to get raised, like, like I said, work in progress. Cooper BB is going to be probably top three interior players in this class, if I had to guess. Eh, top five. Going to right tackles, Talese Fuaga is the top guy. I'm not the biggest JC Latham guy. In my opinion, I like Marius Mims more, but just based off of what I'm seeing in real life, I'm going to leave Latham here, but he's very subject to drop later on if I don't like how he tests out. If he does test, I, I don't know. I'm not huge on him. Now, defensive ends are kind of weird, because, again, Madden needs to fix the classification of defensive players, specifically when it comes to edge rushers and off-ball linebackers. Liatulatu is an edge rusher. He is not somebody who is going to play, um... Oh, also, and interior linemen. All three of those. Interior defensive linemen, edge rushers, and uh, off-ball linebackers all just need to be what that is. There's no such thing as a left end, a right end, a defensive tackle, and an outside linebacker now. That That is so outdated that it's not what people call that now. So, left ends could be anywhere from interior defensive li linemen like Darius Robinson to pure edge rushers like Adisa Isaac and the Azulatu. It sucks. You have to draft based upon your own scheme. And teams are going to get players that don't actually fit their schemes. So, like, a team with defensive ends in Madden terms might have an edge rusher playing interior, which is just stupid. But, hey. Like, Brandon Dorless and Braylon Trice should not be playing the same role, if that makes sense. But this is what the other defensive ends, quote-unquote, look like. Uh, again, this is more just how Bengal had it. I don't think I changed anything here. Uh, except maybe some development traits. Jerzon Newton, I like a lot. I raised Byron Murphy up to be the second defensive tackle in this class. He's getting a lot of hype right now. So, I think he'll probably go very, very high. I have I have him as a first-rounder as well. I'm, I'm starting to hop on that train. I don't have him over Jerzon Newton, though. I know he's undersized. He has very short arms, which is his problem. <laughs> but... I just think the talent is all there. I think he's a crazy good pass rusher. I think he can stop the run really well. Byron Murphy's probably the better pass rusher, but I don't know. I just like Jazon Newton more, and I think that what's happening with him is just prospect fatigue. That's my honest opinion. He might fall in the draft in real life because of those shorter arms, but Aaron Donald had the same problem, and look where we are now. That's all I'm going to say. Outside linebackers, again, these could be anywhere from off-ball linebacker to edge rushers. Like Trevin Wallace, I wouldn't really call an edge rusher. Eh, maybe he is. But most of these guys, like Steel Chambers, he's an off-ball linebacker. Yeah, but my top guy, my top defensive player in this class might be Dallas Turner. I just like him a lot because he can play on the edge, but he can also drop back in coverage and not be terrible which is why he's classified as an outside linebacker because depending on the scheme he could do both things but he's obviously a better edge rusher uh off-ball linebackers yeah edrin cooper uh there's more on the right outside linebackers as well we'll get to that edrin cooper is probably my number two guy junior colson should have been moved up again some of my cha changes that i did make didn't save but all my players are in here which is what matters the most, I guess. But Junior Holson's my linebacker one. Edron Cooper, I like a lot. He had a big year for Texas A&M. Jeremiah Trotter isn't the greatest athlete. He's very undersized. We'll see how he tests out, but he's definitely dropped for me since the preseason. Uh, Danny Stutzman, he's a legend. If you know, you know. 
outside linebackers, which could be off-ball linebackers, could be edge rushers. Jonah Ellis, I don't know how he's above Chop Robinson, because that's not what it says in the class, but hey, sure. Chop Robinson is the top guy here. Peyton Wilson's probably, he would be my linebacker one if he didn't have the injury concerns, which are very serious. He has very injury prone. Uh, Xavier Thomas, I just added to this class. I need to change his school, but I like him a lot. He could be somebody who's really good in like the third, fourth round area. I just wish that he performed better, but it sucks, man. I, I had high hopes for him. I had really high hopes for him. He might actually just get pushed to defensive end as well. I don't. I didn't really know where to put him, to be honest. Because he's not really a guy who could play off ball. He's definitely more of an edge rusher. Uh, I'm just going to call him Z, ZTP, ZTF. Um, before injuries, he was really talented. I might want to change him in this class as well. Um, anybody else I want to talk about? I don't think so. Cornerbacks, Cooper DeGene. He's not my number one guy, but he is the best guy in this class. Spoiler alert. <sighs> my problem with him is I don't know if he can play in man coverage. We'll see about that. I got Terry and Arnold in here. I changed his development trait. Kool-Aid McKinstry's in here. Nate Wiggins. Quinion Mitchell. I added Ennis Rakestraw Jr., who's getting a lot of first-round buzz in real life. Kamari Lasseter. Kalen King. TJ Tampa. Denzel Burke. I added Dwight McLaughlin, who I think is really good. Mike Sainer still is really talented. Um... I think that's it for all the guys that I added. For safeties, um, my favorite player, who's not the best player, is James Williams. I think he could probably play linebacker, and I think that might be where he plays in real life. Uh, the best free safety, if you, that's what you want to call it, would be Kalen Bullock, in my opinion. Javon Bullard, I think, projects more as like a slot player. We'll see with him. Uh, strong safeties, Tyler Newman's the number one guy. Cam Kinchins is probably number two. I like Bo Braid a lot. I think he's going to test really well. Jaden Hicks is really cool. Um, I wonder, is he a strong safety in here? He might be a free safety. I thought I added him. Is he not here? Oh, that's going to make me so sad. Uh, Sion, Sion, Sion Ivaki, I think is his name. He's so talented. He is like... Travis Hunter that nobody talks about where he played running back as well. I wonder if he's in the cornerbacks because he might be I mean, I don't really think he's a slot guy though hey, He's not in here. So I don't have to change that but I do like um Sione Vaki a lot but Yeah, that's basically all the important guys um, like I said, this is still a work in progress, so it's not perfect yet, but yeah, I'm going to run through a draft really quickly, and let's just see if this is kind of accurate to what it should be. I took control of the Ravens because I would hope that they would get the last pick, but I think we have picked 28 or something. They projected us to lose to the Chiefs, which is incredibly stupid, but let's see. I didn't even look at the mock drafts. Let's just see how this goes. Um, number one overall pick. Let's see. Marvin Harrison Jr. Okay. They have these picks messed up where Washington should be at two and Arizona has their pick. I don't know why. Joe Alt goes number two. That could that could happen if they're at four, but I think they would go Marvin Harrison Jr. Pick three is Jerzon Newton. Oh my gosh, this is entirely screwed up. <laughs> Caleb Williams, first QB off the board at pick four. Chargers at five, go Fuaga. Dallas Turner goes sixth. Man, Drake May is about to fall so far. Why are the Giants going JC Latham at seven? I would be so hurt. I would be so hurt if we went Latham at 7. Brock Bowers falls to 8. Bleak Neighbors still hasn't gone. Cooper DeGene at not. Oh my. Drake May is just not going to get drafted. Byron Murphy. What is happening? Troy Fauton. Where is Drake May? Oh my gosh. Kool Aid McKinstry. Raiders, take Drake May, please. I'm begging you. Oh my gosh. This isn't real. Drake May is falling to 15. I mean, I'm here for it. I'm not as high on Drake May as everybody else is, but I don't hate him this much. Okay, this is ridiculous. What is happening? Malik Neighbors falls to 17. Drake May is falling. Seattle gets him at pick 18. I mean, that's not going to happen. Jaden Daniels is just not going to go in the first round. Nate Wiggins goes. The Atulatu to the Steelers would be scary. I don't think they would do that, though. Roma <laughs> Dunze to the Dolphins. That's so ridiculous. 
Brian Thomas of the Eagles. I don't think they go receiver in the first, but they could definitely draft one. Terry and Arnold. I think the Texans could actually do that in real life. Keon Coleman to Dallas would just be what? Why? Trey Benson in the first round. I mean, I think the Packers will get him in real life, but first round is crazy. Jaden Daniels to Tampa. That's wild. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Pick 27. Chris Braswell. I can actually see that happening. I think the Cardinals would like him. Kingsley Sumatea to the Bills. Interesting. The 49ers would be mad about that. They take AD Mitchell. It'd be interesting. Let me try and make a realistic pick here for the Ravens. Let's go. Let's go Jordan Morgan. They could definitely use a tackle with all the injuries that they have out there. All right, pick 31. Kamari Lasseter. I mocked this a lot at the, at the beginning of the year. And then Quinion Mitchell. Chiefs take a, ch a chance on a good corner. That's a very interesting draft. <laughs> I don't think that's how it actually go in real life. But hey, Madden, Madden does what Madden wants, right? But hey, that's it. That's gonna be it for me, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, sub, all that good stuff. Make sure you download this draft class. I'm, like I said, still a work in progress. We're trying to improve it. I'm waiting really till the off season. We know more, but yeah. Surprise double upload for you guys because I should have a rebuild out for you guys later based on when i'm recording this and when i plan to upload this which would be tomorrow saturday um but yeah surprise double upload for you guys and yeah see you guys in the next one peace